Yeah, he was the one I was asking. I don't know. Or she'll probably not he'll probably be light like an I'm running light. Nope, there he is. Oh, there we go. All right, good afternoon. The uh, court's going to take up the next case, CV 1908-327. This is in the interest of Morgan Swain and Taryn Swain children. The uh, case is set for a bench trial on a petition filed by the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services. The hearing is being conducted pursuant to emergency orders of the Texas Supreme Court via Zoom video conference. Participating in the hearing today on behalf of the department is uh, caseworker Haley Smith, <coughs> Supervisor Crystal Gillette, and Brown County Attorney Shane Britton. The uh, mother of the uh, children is Brittany Wells, who has signed a waiver of service of citation. And uh, the court has appointed uh, Patrick Howard as her attorney at bottom, and Mr. Howard is participating in the hearing, and I'll check on her participation here in a second. The uh, father of the child is Nathan Swing, who uh, entered an appearance in the case on July 9th, 2020. I don't believe he is present. The court has appointed Lee Haney as his attorney ad litem, and Mr. Haney is present. The attorney and guardian ad litem for the children is Donnie Lappy, and Mr. Lappy is participating in the hearing today, and the uh, children are excused from participating in the hearing. I would note uh, on my screen it reflects that uh, uh, somebody is participating by phone, area code 325, last three digits 696. If you're on that phone, could you identify yourself for the court, please? Uh, yes, this is Brittany Wells. Okay, thank you. Then the record will reflect that Miss Brittany Wells, the mother of the children, is participating in the hearing. And if I didn't say so before, the children are excused. As I noted, we are set for a bench trial. Is the uh, department ready to proceed, Mr. Britton? We're ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> okay, and let's see. Mr. Howard, are you ready to proceed? I'm ready. And Mr. Haney, are you ready to proceed? Ready, Your Honor. And Mr. Lappy, are you ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Uh, is anybody invoking the rule? No. Okay. Nope. Uh, the rule is not invoked. Uh, any opening from anyone? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, openings are waived by the parties. All right. I'm going to ask Ms. Smith, uh, Ms. Gillette, and Ms. Wells, if each of you could raise your right hand, please. Each of you solemnly swear or affirm any testimony you give today before the court will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth set the other. I do. I do. All right, thank you. All right, Ms. Britton. Sorry, Judge. <clears throat> I'll call Ms. Smith. Ms. Smith, you are the first case manager for two days. Yes, that's correct. You have been working with um, the Schwing children in this particular case? A second. Yes, uh, I have. Hang on just a second, Mr. Howard. I'm going to see if I can do something about uh, we're getting a lot of feedback from somewhere, and I'm not sure where that's from yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to mute everybody that, other than the witness right now. If you need to make an objection or something, just uh, feel free to do so, but I'm going to. Yeah, okay. Try again, Mr. Britton, and see if that helps any. Thank you, Judge. You have been involved with the chil with the case involving the twin children. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And um, what, <clears throat> what recommendation are you um, making to the court today? Specifically, what are you asking for? We are asking to, to be dismissed from the case. Okay. And, and, for the, and for the court to enter some type of a final order? Yes. And um, you are asking that the children be uh, placed with uh, their mother, Brittany Wells? Yes. And um, what do you propose doing with the fathers? He has not had any contact the with father, me. I'm sorry. Um, he has not had any contact with me. I have attempted to uh, reach out to him. He's he doesn't, he never wanted to cooperate. He said that the issues were not 
with him and he was not going to do anything we asked him and that the children were between him and his mom, uh, him and Miss Wells. So I haven't had, he lives out of state. He's never reached out to me in regards to the children. I know he does have a, I mean, Miss Wells um, is in contact with him. She is or isn't? She, she is, he, he will talk to her. Okay. And so um, are you recommending that Miss Wells be named as the sole managing conservator in that um, Nathan Schwing be <clears throat> named as a possessory conservator? Yes. And that all possession and access to the children be at uh, <clears throat> Miss Wells' discretion? Yes, I believe that's in the best interest. Okay. And um, can you, <clears throat> you're confident that Miss Wells is in a position to uh, parent the children? I am. Brittany has done extremely well. She's completed all of her services. Uh, she did get a late start, but after her late start, she hit the ground running and, and she's done very well. Good. And uh, <clears throat> this proposal or recommendation that you're making, this is what's in the best interest of the children? Yes, I believe so. I'll pass the witness, Jeff. <clears throat> All right, any questions? Ms. Smith, do you feel that there uh, is a need uh, for Ms. the mom to have to protect these kids from the father? I haven't got to work a lot with the dad, so uh, I'm unsure of what type of person he is, but I do feel that it needs to be at Brittany's discretion. And you do know from contact with the dad that he knows that CPS case was going on. Absolutely. And you're familiar with the file and the investigation in this case? Yes. And uh, as part of the investigation, wasn't there some admittance of some marijuana use, at least on his part? Yes. And he's also admitted to me that he does marijuana and he has a marijuana card. However, he would never provide that information to me. And, and so while the mom and him seem to have a, a decent relationship, you do think that there's a need uh, for the mom to be able to protect these kids from him if necessary. Yes. Okay. And you're asking the court to order the father to pay minimum wage child support. Yes. Does the father have any additional children that you know of? I'm just aware of one other child, uh, a son. That's uh, that is also Brittany's. Okay. And does that child live with Miss with Brittany? No, uh, he does not. Okay. And so do you know if the father pays child support on that child? I'm not sure if he does or not on, on this son. And you're asking the father to pay cash medical uh, in support of the child, the children as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you believe that those orders are in the best interest of the children? Yes, I do. And, re and really the best interest of this family is you've got a chance to know the mom. Yes, I, I believe it's in the best interest of all of them. Okay. I don't have any other questions. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Haney, any questions? No questions, Your Honor. Mr. Lappy, any questions? No questions, Your Honor. All right. Um, Mr. Britton, any additional questions? I'm sorry, Mr. Britton, did you have any additional questions? <coughs> I have not I have nothing further, Judge. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, and so the department, uh, are you asking the court to take judicial notice? Of court file? <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. And we ask you to take judicial notice and then we'll rest. Okay, any objection to the court to take judicial notice of the uh, contents of the court file? No, no objection. All right, the uh, court will then take judicial notice of the court's file, uh, including all the contents and information contained therein. All right, uh, Mr. Hired, any questions or any witnesses? I have no additional evidence, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Haney. Nothing, Your Honor. And Mr. Lappy, any additional witnesses? No, Your Honor. Okay, all parties in rest and close? Yes, yes Your Honor. Uh, yes. Uh, any closing from anyone? No. No, Your Honor. No. Mr. Lappy, I'm assuming as attorney and guardian ad litem, you're in agreement with the orders requested by the department? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, y'all stand by for just a second.
All right, the uh, court, uh, chapter 201 of the Texas Family Code, after conducting the bench trial today and after hearing the evidence presented and taking judicial notice, the court's file as noted earlier, and after hearing the recommendation that the attorney and guardian ad litem for the children is going to make the following findings and in the following orders, the court finds that uh, a request for identification of a court of continuing jurisdiction has been made as required by law. No other court has continuing exclusive jurisdiction of the children, and this court, said, court has jurisdiction over this action. The court finds that uh, all parties entitled to notice have been notified. Uh, the court finds that there has been a material and substantial change of circumstances since a prior order was entered in cause number CV1504127 relating to the two children that was entered in the 35th District Court of, Tom of Brown County, Texas. The court further finds that that uh, prior action has been consolidated with this action. The court finds it would be in the best interest of the children uh, to modify that uh, prior uh, child support, uh, excuse me, prior order as ordered by the court. Uh, the court finds uh, it would not be in the best interest of the child for the respondent father to be appointed as a managing conservator of the child or children because uh, such appointment would, would significantly impair the physical health and emotional development of the children. Uh, any such presumption is rebutted. The court finds it would be in the best interest of the children to appoint the mother, Brittany Wells, as sole managing conservator of the uh, child with the children with the exclusive right to designate the primary residence of the ch children without geographic restriction and with all the other rights and duties of a parent sole managing conservator under applicable law. The court finds that the appointment of the respondent father as a possessory conservator of the child would be in the best, children would be in the best interest of the children but further finds that any presumption that the respondent father should be a, uh, should have rights of possession and access to the uh, children since the standard possession order is rebutted, that application of the standard possession order to the facts and circumstances of this case uh, is unworkable and inappropriate, and that the limitations on rights of possession and access to the children by the respondent father uh, do not exceed those necessary to uh, protect the uh, best interests of the children. And the court further finds there's good cause not to order specific periods of possession and access to the children by the respondent father. The court finds that the respondent father has an obligation to support the children and that the respondent father should be ordered to continue to uh, pay support pursuant to the prior uh, child support order entered in CV 1504127 in the same amounts that was set forth in that order. And the court would also continue in place the uh, cash medical support that was ordered in that case. Pursuant to that order, the mother was continued with the obligation to uh, provide uh, medical and dental insurance for the uh, children or to enroll the children in applicable government benefit programs. And the respondents were each obligated pay one half of any uh, uninsured medical expenses of the uh, children. The, uh, I didn't say so either, the court therefore is entering an order that the department is dismissed as temporary managing conservator of the children and Ms. Wells is appointed as sole managing conservator with the rights and duties noted earlier. Father is appointed as a possessory conservator with his rights of possession and access to be at such times, places, and under such circumstances as agreed by the uh, uh, sole managing server, the uh, child support and cash medical support and medical and medical support shall be as noted uh, earlier in the court's findings. Um, the court will discharge the court's thanks, uh, Mr. Hard, Mr. Haney, and Mr. Lappy from their appointments 31 days after entry of, by the court of the final order effect, reflecting the findings and orders announced by the court today. The uh, court will give notice to the parties and counsel of the right to appeal the court's findings in order to send to section 263.405 Texas Family Code and, and of the right to request a de novo hearing before the referring district court since section 201.015 Texas Family Code. The court gives notice that an appeal and suit which termination of the parent child relationship is sought is governed by the procedures for accelerated appeals in civil cases and the Texas Rules of Appellate Procedure 
there's a failure to follow the text rules of appellate procedure. They, uh, excuse me, the failure to follow the text rules of appellate procedure for accelerated appeals may result in a dismissal of the appeal. The court will sign a final order uh, reflecting the findings, and orders, and judgment of the court today. Uh, Ms. Wells, uh, when we have a case like this, the result we'd like to have is with the children back with the parent and and I'm happy to hear that's happened, and uh, a lot of that's due to everything you've done in this case. So I encourage you to continue doing what you've been doing and wish you and the children the best of luck. Unless there's anything else, we'll be adjourned for Thank you.